so this is a very interesting and important question from Stony Lonesome. Saying, how can society fix the incel crisis? According to a 2018 study, uh, around 30% of American aged American men aged 18 to 30 have never had sex. Now it's probably over a third. Now I, I don't think, think this is. is I don't what? think this is going to get fixed. I think this is not going to get fixed until we all upload ourselves into metaverse. Okay. Oh um, my god. I, 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 you know, I'm, I'm. Well, I'm not going to say that as a solution, but I, I, I'm just, I just have to be honest with you guys. Okay. Um. A, a small percentage of men are going to be more successful with women, and there's that's not going to change. Okay. So what are we going to do? Like you're gonna, we can't like don't like. The only the only solution is Islam. Okay, you want to make ma the, only, <laughs> <laughs> the only way to adjust. The, honestly, the only way to adjust for that is to make it mandatory for women to be with certain men. Okay, if that's the only so-called solution, Islam was right about women. <laughs> no, I mean this is a solution that is worse. Like it's horrible because it's basically anti-liberty, right? Um, it's not really a solution. I'm joking when I'm saying it's a solution, but th that there's really no other way. You just have to suffer through this. I mean, I mean, even if it, so right now things are getting a lot worse. Okay. Because family structures are changing. Society is changing really fast and people cannot, don't, don't know how to adjust for that. So there's going to be a lot of, ways of people communicating with each other and making connections is changing too fast for people to be able to adjust to the new to the new world right so that's make that's making things a lot more complicated and it's making these numbers go up but even in normal times even when we're not going through societal changes this fast we're still going to have you know a high like you know women are still are going to look above, you know, they're going to look at, I don't know, 20% 20, 20 or 30% of men as ideal candidates, right? And men yeah, women are, going are, to, are hypergamous. Yes. But men are going to look at maybe like 70% of women as ideal candidates, right? So I'm just making numbers up. Like just because that's 30%, that's 70%, that means men are going to have a larger percentage of women that they were like, okay, this is an idea, this is fine. And women are going to be a lot more picky about it. So that means that men have to be a lot, a higher tier <laughs> in the hierarchy to be able to have access to women, right? And women don't have to, to compete, right? So that is always going to create an imbalance for a, the vast majority of men who are either going to go part partner less or they're going to end up with somebody that they're always going to be unhappy about and they're always going to look at other men and with their women and they're going to be like i wish i wish that was my woman instead of you know they're always going to think like that right so they are going to be lonely or they're going to be jealous for the rest of their life and that has always been the case this is like this has been the case for the past i don't know four hundred thousand years when it comes to our species right um i mean and whatever was before us right i mean it actually is with other mammals as well right so it's actually not just humans right um and yeah you're not going to be able to fix that um this new high numbers you're also not going to be able to fix that because this is the nature of going through a change in tradition change in economic structures change in hierarchies changes like technology is changing things fast like societal structures are changing every 10 years faster than they have been in thousands of years before right people our minds are not built for to be able to adjust for that really quickly right so we're going to be people are going to be like one generation next relative to the generation before they're going to be like they're 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 we, every everybody is weirded out by everyone else's way of life because we are like 
we're creating so many different customs and people are like, what is this world? Who are these people? Why are they talking like that? Why are they behaving there? NFTs are a thing. What is this? Why are they selling NFTs now? Wait. Like, why is this? Why is this picture of a dog worth this much? Like that now, there's we have currencies that with dog pictures in them. Like people are <laughs> people are getting confused. People are like, how do I talk to you? I like you. You're beautiful, but you're speaking in a way. You're talking about things that I don't understand. I haven't. I I go outside. People have their faces covered. People got people. Children can't talk. Children can't talk right now. They, they're putting children in speech therapies because apparently now we're realizing that children learn how to speak by watching other people's lips. So now apparently- We've known that going... for a long time. Okay, so black kids cannot speak. Oh, so people are like, one reason people are like depressed is because they're not seeing other people's faces, okay? We didn't know how psychologically we need to see other people's faces. No, we Those knew again. that. <laughs> We knew that. Okay. Well, this is more foundational of us... to human development. This is the first more... thing you learn when you take psychology. Okay. More people are realizing that right now. Okay. The one reason why you have to be against the Naga, by the way. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> no, but these are like changes that our brain is like confused. Like people are like, people can't, like, people are like in, stuck in their homes. And now, like, a lot of us, for us, this is like, oh, just the past two years. For some people, who are like, I don't know, like eight years old or nine years old, they grew up this, like some foundational parts of their lives gone through not having, not being able to facially recognize other people. This is going to screw up. Like when they become adults, they're going to have even bigger problems when it comes to communicating oh, yeah. with other people. This is going to be like major. I think there's somebody at my door. But yeah, you, you could continue while I go see what this is. Well, I have a lot of opinions on this. Um, first of all, I think this is an issue in society that we don't take seriously enough. People, um, you know, incel is such a stigmatized term and they think of it as a very specific type of online, like right misogynist. And so when I'm talking about incel, I just literally mean someone who would like to have sex, but can't have sex or that just isn't a virgin, like late into adult life. Um, and so people like to poke fun of it because it is just painted as an incel and they just don't take it seriously. And I think people really should take this seriously. I think, um, a lot of people, uh, totally dismiss men's issues just because they think it's the butt of a joke, especially an issue like this. And I don't think it's funny. I think people really need to, um, treat this seriously. Um, because when there's this high of a percentage of young men not getting their sexual needs met, this is going to have major negative consequences on society. <laughs> um, we already know that a lot of some, some, I mean, of course it is, guys, of course, this is important. The most maladaptive and antisocial of these types are like um, the gentleman shooter, I forget his name, Elliot something, um, who was the son of the hung Hunger Games producer, you know, you know, was like the first incel mass shooter. And he was like, why don't girls like me? I have like Gucci sunglasses. Like I'm such a gentleman. I'm such a nice guy. And they take it out on people. And of course that's the most extreme example. But um, I think um, this issue does breed resentment in society and somewhat understandably so. I'm not saying that it's justified that you expect sex out of people, um, but people do have needs, especially emotional um, and at uh, Emotional intimacy needs is huge. And also just literally, there's been studies about how Americans in particular face a high degree of touch starvation. Like we literally just don't get touched enough by other people. And this has major um, uh, implications on our mood, how we feel about ourselves. And so I have a lot of empathy for a lot of the young men that go through this. I think a huge contributing factor is the fact that um, society, especially over the past two years, well, this was an issue you know, before the pandemic, um, is so increasingly atomized. And so we don't have as many occasions where you get out into the community and you meet other people. Um, so if they're young men struggling with this issue, I would suggest to them trying to get out of the house and trying to get in front of other people as much as possible, because that will help improve your odds greatly. And instead of just talking about the problems with this, I want to actually give like some advice. So some, and I'm not professional guys. Um, this is just like my opinion, but my opinion is that if you're a young man and, um, you know, you're just kind of like average looking to low average, 
Um, you can try the dating apps. I don't think you're going to be that successful because people are going to be selecting for the highest, especially women across the board. Um, it is about physical first impression. And so you can try it, but I don't think you would have as much success. I think you would have more success getting out in front of people, getting into the community and having people really like you, your personality, just practice being charming, practice being personable and um, bonding over shared interests. So like a hobby that you really like, that you're passionate about. That's a fantastic way. And not only is it an immediate icebreaker, like if you're like, oh, I like ultimate Frisbee. This is how I meet women is through my ultimate Frisbee team. That that takes a huge amount of the work just right there. Um, and two, it really helps exhibit who you are as a person because women are much um, uh, the, um, just the physical appearance is much more important to men than it is for women. And so if they find that you're someone who's safe can be um, a source of security to them and um, a source of emotional safety, then that will take you a long ways in terms of overcoming any, you know, looks deficits you have. My other piece of advice is that once you get into your older years and you've reached a lot of, um, potentially reached more success, in your career, in your financial stability, frankly, a lot more options are going to be available to you. I can't tell you how many of my friends who are in their mid thirties to forties who are like, I'm getting more sex now than I ever have in my entire life. Like a, a lot of women are just attracted to guys who are much. older. And yeah, <laughs> they're like, it's just like, I don't know what happened. I turned 35 and everyone's throwing pussy at me. So, <laughs> I think that's partially an, uh, um, an aspect of having um, more uh, just economic power. Um, and um, also, I think, well, my personal opinion is men in that age range are just sexier. And I think a lot of other women feel that way, too. Um, so, you know, there's still hope out there for you. It might, but a lot of people, a lot of my friends who are in that age range shock me. And they're like, I was shocked at how different it is now. Like I'm peaking like now, <laughs> but I, I don't know. I think that's pretty good advice. Yeah, it's pretty good advice. I also have one more point and two advice. I wanted to uh, ask you if you think those are good advice as well. One is like, I, I think people underestimate how much um, not getting laid contributes to radical movement, right? A lot of radical movements that we have, both the Islamic, you know, white supremacists and other kinds, involves a lot of men a lot of young men who are not getting laid like this is like some people say that as a joke but no it's actually serious that is part of the reason why these you know the frustration that exists among a lot of these people is you know it wouldn't be there if these people were getting laid right like again it's not all it's not you know i'm just saying it's it's part of the equation so when it comes to advice um i have two advice one um, before before focusing on trying to become somebody that other people like, first focus on making somebody making yourself somebody that you like. Right? Do not expect other people to like you if you don't like you. Right? So f figure out what makes you proud of yourself and aim for it. Right? Whatever it is, like. If it's like, you know, getting in shape, being healthier, getting higher income, being more knowledgeable, whatever those standards are, okay? It doesn't have to be other people's standards. It has to be your standards, right? Because it also shows if you're happy with you, who you are, that you don't like, don't try to act more confident, okay? Acting more confident will just get you like, just like, oh, this is how will you act to be more confident, right? No, you confidence is something that naturally comes happens when you are enjoying the way you are right it's a byproduct it's not something you that you act like if you look at yourself and you're happy with it the confidence will just just happen naturally right so be that person right and and then when you then when you go find try to find a partner or something then you don't have to find then you don't have to become the person that they like because you're already happy with how you are 
you have to you, you're just being yourself and then you're looking for people that like the way you like to be okay but the more important thing is that you are proud of the way you are right you look at yourself and be like this is great i'm moving at least i'm even if you're not the way you want to be you could see like you could be proud of moving in the direction of the person that you want to be right and it could be anything it could be like financial success uh, or knowledge or like being healthy or in shape whatever standards you have right um so that's my number one advice number two advice is that don't start by going out to communicate with people if you if you suck at talking to people and if you're like awkward and if you don't know how to uh, just go out and try to build connections with everybody not just people like that you're intending to fuck all right just be like just because learn it's so obvious right. when that's the way you operate and it's an immediate yes just just go learn how to make friends just go learn how to carry yourself in conversations and be around people that you like and make friends with them and just just see how it works okay just like build a network of people that you like to talk to and they like to talk to you right and just be comfortable with talking to people so get to do that and then before you try to be like oh now i'm gonna go talk and then actually if you do that at some point if you keep doing that you eventually will meet people that end up wanting to be your partner without you even having uh, to talk to talk to people with the aim of actually being their part uh, you know fucking them you know what i mean so that will just naturally if you just talk to enough people and make enough friends it will naturally w happen that some of them eventually would want to fuck you because you're just talking to just so many people, right? So that will just naturally come along, right? As, as, if you're confident, if you like yourself, and you have a high network of people that you talk to and you are your friends, eventually the a mutual um, spark will happen just by itself. Do you think those are, what do you think? No, I agree. Um, I think Stony Lonesome is saying, I think the whole man's prime being begins at, 30 rhetoric is delusional that's not normal for the rest of the world a man isn't supposed to have to wait until he's 35 to start getting late no i agree i'm just talking about it how to navigate what we're dealing with at the moment like i can't change what the environment is in you know like these places like north america or the most competitive cities right which is like what i'm used to um i can only give advice on like how to try to deal with what's given to us at this moment um, and I'm not saying I'm necessarily right, but <laughs> Alex Kappa is saying such a pick me girl talk. <laughs> not true. You're fabulous. I know there are a lot of women who are going to think that I am being a pick me girl. I think I'm just actually being reality based about a lot of the problems and obstacles that men face. Um, and like not trying to diminish and belittle it. Um, mm -hmm. And if people want to think that I'm like, you know, being like, oh my God, I'm, <laughs> then let them think that. Um, Go back to the other comment. I'm going to respond to that as well. Oh, um, here we go. There's, yeah. So in response to this, um, nobody should expect to have to wait till 35. But I think like telling people things are going to get better might reduce stress and anxiety enough so for them to be able to perform better now right so if you're 20 and you're frustrated and you're not going to get laid you're not getting laid and you're like this is difficult right telling telling you that things are going to get e might get easier like it's likely to get easier at some point might reduce your anxiety and stress enough so to the point that makes it more likely for you to get laid right now in your 20s you know mm. what I mean? So that's the that's the that's the point of saying that, not so that you just wait until you're 35 or something like that. Yeah. All right. What was the other thing you wanted to highlight? You were highlighting something else. Oh, well, I was you know just highlighting praises of myself. Ego is saying oh. that I'm you know just giving sage wisdom. Oh, <laughs> what about me? I'm giving good advice as well. Oh, here's another compliment. <laughs> Susanna, you're looking so cute. We're in the black men in black glasses. <laughs> Wait, like Rudish's Rish, questions didn't come up. Oh, oh sorry, Rish. Can you post it right now? Wait. Because we. Yeah. 
Oh. Yeah, no, I don't even think I've seen him in the live chat the whole time. But no, of course, I think he, he I think he sent it way too early, so they got uh... erased. Like really, he sent it really early. So Rudrish, if you send them, like maybe send them before the show, but not like early, early, because they get erased if you send them like extremely early. Sorry, Rudrish. Um, I feel like I had one more piece of advice. Like, no comments from Twitch. I don't know. Yeah, I think uh, I'll just leave it at what I did. Well, um, say, yes. Well, we we do want to highlight Twitch comments, but you say something so we can highlight them. <laughs> no one's given us Twitch comments. Yeah, I mean there um, was one, but oh, here, here is a Twitch comment. The myth of people having to get laid and losing their virginity should end. What That's the dumbest about? thing I've ever heard. People want to have sex. What are you talking about? Oh, it's a myth. It's not that they have to. It's that people want to. And we're biologically driven to. And it's a good thing because it feels good. It gets good hormones going. It feels nice. It's how we bond with people. It brings closeness. It's not a myth. What are you talking about? Maybe the pressure to lose your virginity to like be a real man or whatever whatever like that's a little intense we can put a little bit of a check on that but to act like it's just like ridiculous that people want this what <laughs> like i don't know nobody said that you have to but if you don't understand how like you must be like I, I go I mean go get your dick sucked and then come talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> like this must be coming from somebody that doesn't know who, how good all of this feels. Go eat an like, ass and then come talk to me. <laughs> no, like what are you talking about? Like it, I mean, you don't if you don't want to participate in one of the most enjoyable things uh, like okay, unless you're asexual. Okay, so like shout out to Ace my asexual fans out there right who don't enjoy this right but unless you're one of those people um then nobody's saying that you have to have sex but yeah you're missing out on one of the most precious experiences of life so i don't know what you do you're we're just you're missing out and you're going to be you're going to have a lesser life for it okay you're going to have a less enjoyable life for it and it and they joy and the joy from sex goes way beyond just the feeling the amazing feeling of sex okay for some reason it just brightens up every single other part of your life as well for some it clears reason, your vision the sky is bluer <laughs> well yeah like everything becomes like better for some reason like it's like you think like oh yeah you're like oh this was fantastic sex okay but it just like you're you're less angry for some reason i don't know you feel like you, your workouts are also not better. Food is taste. Everything, like everything, becomes like rosier for some reason. Like life becomes like there seems to be like it seems like your bo body is signaling to you like oh yeah this is like we need to preserve these genes because it was they there were some success. Like I'm not saying that's what's happening, okay? But it it comes across as to me as like your body like let's not self destruct. There was a successful. <laughs> Um, passing off of the genes so this this is a you know this is a specimen that we need to make, keep you know keep alive okay because you know <laughs> your her, the, the, your is entire this what it feels like to be a man <laughs> no I'm, I'm just no no I'm, like i I'm drained the poison i can see clearly now <laughs> i think sex could signal to the body that that there's something successful happening here okay so it's worth not getting rid of this okay so that's why it's i don't know well i don't know if that's my just my theory for why all of us having sex is healthy right because your entire hormone changes you know your life brightens up okay everything seems better life becomes better life is more beautiful and you know your testosterone like as a man i could tell you that your testosterone levels and your everything improves right and you could tell that the health benefits, the emotional, mental health benefits, and the physical health benefits from sex, you you know, even though masturbation is good, and there's nothing wrong with watching porn, you don't get that from those. Like you, you, you need your mm -hmm. body needs to touch another body. You need to feel another presence of a, another human body next to you. You need to touch somebody and be touched by them. Okay, and other things which I'm not going to describe here, but. Hello. 
you you need all of that you 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 psychologically are programmed to need all of that okay so i don't know what what unless you're asexual okay if you are i can't read your name your name is too weird okay if you're asexual then that's completely valid for you not to have to you don't for you not to need all of this but don't act like m most of us don't need this most of us do need this this is this is not just a want this is actually a need yeah 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 um oh man i saw a hilarious comment wait just a second um <laughs> i love this discussion so much atheist republic needs your help we have been the target of many legal attacks by hindu nationalists ever since our founder armin Avabi blasphemed against hindu deities we have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.